Okay, guys, this is Mike Celestino from Inside the Magic, and I'm here in downtown Los Angeles with Lee Unkrich and Darla K. Anderson from Pixar's Coco. We're here in downtown Los Angeles with yes. Anthony Gonzalez, the star of Pixar's Coco. How does it feel to have this honor, this Coco Day in LA bestowed on your film? Uh, it's huge. It's a big deal. I, I grew up in Los Angeles, and the fact that we're down here at City Hall and um, and this day means that it, not only is this film connected with uh, the Latino audiences, but it means that it's connected with everybody, and that's an artist's, a filmmaker's wildest dream, so we couldn't be more honored and excited. It's truly a dream come true because I, I never thought there would be like a Coco Day. Like I, I'm part of Coco, and I just can't believe there's like a Coco Day, I'm just so happy and it's a dream come true and I just thank God and thank all the Coco team who, who put all their heart into the work, into Coco and I just can't believe it. <laughs> and as far as the general reaction that this movie's got, I know it's been embraced all around the world. How does it feel to have uh, that kind of reaction to your movie? I think it's just great for, it's great for Mexico and it's great for the Latino community that people around the world have embraced it to the degree that they have. I just got back from Japan and um, it's, uh, hopefully it'll be very, very big there. Um, everyone we talked to loved the film and um, they've loved learning more about the Latino culture and uh, so I think only good has yeah. come from us having made this film. So we saw you perform wonderfully a couple songs today. Yes. What does it take to prepare for a performance like this? Um, well, I, it's just so much fun for me. I just, I love doing it because it's just so much fun for me. It's, I don't consider it like work or just stress. Uh, the reason I do this is because like, I love to do it. It's my passion and that's, that's why I'm doing it. Coming up on Oscar Sunday here, what are your thoughts going into the awards and uh, what do you hope the outcome is? Oh gosh, um, we're just uh, hopeful and excited, um, but you never can count your chickens before they're hatched. And and but mostly it, we were just excited that it shines a spotlight on again on the community and this diverse, huge team that we've uh, collected that made this movie. So we're just really proud of the idea that everybody will be celebrating with them and just to be nominated is a celebration. Uh, Coco is nominated for best animated feature. Yes, uh, and the you, song "Remember Me." <laughs> so do you get to attend? I, I, yes, I think I'm going, and just to go is just a dream come true, I can't believe it, it's truly an honor, and I can't believe I'm going alongside my mom, and the amazing director, Leon Grish, and the producer, Darla Anderson, who are all amazing, and the co-director, AJ Molina, who, without all of them, without all of their, their hard work, and all the heart they put into Coco, we wouldn't be here. Fantastic, and finally, what's next for you? Well, I recently finished this film called Icebox, which is about um, the process of immigration, like <laughs> what kids go through. Like, um, I'm a kid named Oscar, and I'm the main character, and it's really it follows his story, like the the uh, immigration catches him, and it, it's really about um, his, what what happens with him in the detention of minors and like his experience, yeah. And then after, just keep acting and singing, which is what I love to do. Fantastic! Thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thank you so much. Have a great day.